What's going on guys, it's Cliffy here. Now, I have had a few issues with my mic. I think I've kind of sorted it now. For some reason, it just seems to blink out. But then if I go and change it and then change it back over, for some reason, it seems to work. So I just got to keep an eye on that. So that might be why it looks like I'm looking over at my monitor a fair bit. But anyway, we are here. We are playing in the semifinals of the Australian Open. We did have the quarterfinal video, but there was just no audio in that whatsoever. So I've gone and left it out. As you can see, we did beat Chung six games to two, which is very good. We'll have a look at the match report here, which saw us win, as I said, 6-2 in 18 minutes with 100% First serve, we did get two aces as well, which is great. Uh, 31 winners, which is absolutely awesome, and 32 points won. So only one unforced error by our opponent. We will definitely go and take that. Um, more unforced errors will be nice, but those 31 winners are absolutely perfect. Um, and as we can see, we are now taking on David Goffin in the semi-final, while Nadal is taking on the American Johnson. So let's go and head to Rod Laver Arena and get straight into the game. Right, so we started in possibly the most brilliant manner possible. We are up 40 to love. We have just been smashing it all around the court. Serve and volley is working well for Tanasi here today. He's gone and taken the first game. Clean sweep. All right, Goffan has come back. He is now up 40 to 30, uh, which is very promising. We haven't been playing that well in this game, to be fair. We just haven't really uh, been able to time anything. And... We are, I don't know how we're sticking in this point, but we're not sticking it in anymore. Goffin holds one game all. All right, so it seems to be a game where the servers are doing very well to hold serve, and it's going to be very tough uh, to go and get a break. So I think if we can manage to try and get a break early on here, then we are going to be in good stead uh, to go and carry on and win this match, make it to the final. As I said, probably taking on Nadal. I don't think Johnson, who is actually, and I did make a mistake here, he is actually a real-life player. That's a good shot there by uh, Goffin, the nice wee droppy just below the net. And some good distances run once again by both the players in that point. My God, he is just getting some absolute ridiculous returns here, it must be said. I'm going to go wide. On this one here, try and grab ourselves an ace, because that seems to be the only way that we are going to pick up a point here. And that is exactly what has happened. A 180-kilometer thunderbolt out wide. I was going to say down the tee, but it has gone cross-court. We grab ourselves a game. We currently lead two games to one. Fine just aced us. Uh, I don't know how, but for some reason we played that little leave shot again. And we just keep coming to the net, and it's not working for us. Goffin holds... Two games all. All right, Goffin's got a huge opportunity here. He is currently up 40 love. He's got three break points here to work with. And I did say that breaks were going to be crucial. We go to that wide serve that goes cross court and manages to grab ourselves an ace, the second of the game. So we will take that. But we've still got a couple of break points that need saving for us to stay in this match. And I think if we do get broken here, and Goffin can hold in the next game, then we could potentially be in a little bit of trouble. These shots here are going very deep, it must be said, on the baseline. They're very much on the line. Goffin gets the cross-court winner with the forehand, leads three games to two at the change of ends, and Tanasi is going to need to pick up his game here if he is going to make it into this final. We fought back well. We were down 30 love, brought it back to 30 all. Goffin now has the game point. And as I said, if he can manage to hold this game, it will be absolutely crucial, I think, in the course of the match. I think he will go on to win it from here. Just trying to slow things down at the moment. He's put in the droppy. Oh, don't get too far to the net, Tanasi. Backhand smash. What a point this is. Goffin still running. Why we put the slice in there, I don't know. Should have gone for the droppy, but we haven't. The point is still going. We are fighting for our grand slam life here at the moment. Drop shot. Counted with a droppy, and Tanasi has got it. What a rally that was, folks. We can see, oh my god, 113 meters run on that last point to get it back to Juice. You can see what it means to Kokonakis here. He really wants to get into that maiden. I think this is his maiden Grand Slam semi-final anyway. But he wants to get into that maiden final in the same tournament. He's going about it all the right way. He's going to have to hold off an advantage here. He's going to have to break back. You would have to think in order to get up 
in this game. We haven't hit too many unforced errors today, which is nice. But we are playing. Some of these shots are very, very deep into the court. They are definitely running Goffan around, but he has somehow managed to find himself a winner. Goes up four games to two. Advantage Goffan. All right, Tanasi has done a great job here holding his serve, which is what he needed to do in this game. Currently up 40 to 30, so plenty of time. He's not going to need it, though. Just the serve and the ground stroke grabs himself the game. That is going to take it to 4-3. It's going to be the change of ends, and we're going to get new balls. All right, once again, we find ourselves under pressure from the Goffin serve. He is currently up 40 to 30. Uh, sorry, 40 love. I was going to say 40 to 30, but what am I talking about? 40 love. We are down love 40. He's just served a fault there, so that's going to help us greatly, you would think. But really need, as I said, to win this game. Otherwise, it probably is going to be game, set, and match. There is another unforced error. A shot into the net. It's now five games to three. Remember, first of six, one set only. So Tanasi needs to win basically every game from here. This could be it. This could be... The final call on Tanasi's Australian Open. It has been an incredible journey to date so far. We're not giving up hope just yet. We're going to try and break back here if we can. But Goffan has got two match points in the bag. I'm going to make sure that I don't go to the net because I think that could potentially be our downfall. Goffan has challenged the call. We're not going to lose on a challenge, are we? Oh, it's in. Oh, it is just in. Man, oh man, we grab ourselves a bit of a lucky point. We did mention, or I did mention, sorry, in the uh, the previous games that we have been really attacking that baseline of Goffan in this game. We're playing those forehands and even some of those backhand ground strokes very deep in the court. And it has made it quite difficult for Goffan to get on top of anything. That one there, he did challenge. It was in was called in he assumed it was out straight away because went up for the challenge very quickly was not the case and oh, just like that Tanasi is hanging in there boys he is up advantage we're gonna go wide try and grab ourselves an ace because it's what we need I think in this game in order to get back to five games to four and that is exactly what we have done third ace of the game Tanasi holds five games to four Change of ends. Goffan still serving for the match. All right, Goffan just came up with a big ace there in the context of the game. His second for the match got it up to 40 to 15. And uh, this, once again, two match points. We did manage to save it last time around. That was, however, off of our own serve. This time around, we may not be quite so lucky as we've gone. Hit the unforced error. That is not... What we wanted at that time, right hand handshake, which again, I am happy about. We saw that in the, well, sorry, I saw that in the quarterfinal. David Goffin, the Belgian, just too strong for us. It's going to be the, well, we're going to think it's the number one in the number two seed. We don't know if Nadal has won yet, but he hasn't dropped a set all tournament. Goffin's been very good as well. We were just outmatched in this contest, it must be said. Um... Only 15 minutes, so quite surprisingly, the game did go quite quick, considering there was 10 games in it in, uh, in well, in total, is what I'm looking for. As you can see, 96% first serve, 3 aces, 22 winners, which is good. The thing that is the error is the 10 unforced errors that we did have. We had a lot of them. I just... I think I was just trying to rush the points quite a lot, because Goffin is obviously, I think he's about 8 points overall better than us. So I didn't want those long rallies to get going. I wanted to try and keep them short, sharp, even though, you know, serve, he gets the return, we get the ground stroke winner. Or try and smash that return uh, against the even the second serve, the first serve, at a lot of the times. But our Australian Open journey has come to an end for Tanasi Kokonakis. It is very unfortunate that we didn't manage to go and make it to the final, but huge signs for this young Australian talent. We're going to go into the menu. We're going to have a look, um, see if Nadal, first of all, can win the semi-final and who will win the final. Uh, and then that will be the series wrapped up, done and dusted. All right, so as expected, Nadal does win in straight sets. He did have to go to seven games to five in that third set, which is quite surprising. So we do have Nadal. We do have Goffin. I'm going to leave a poll up in the top right-hand corner. You guys got to let me know who you think is going to win this game. 
we're just going to simulate through it. There's no point me going and playing it. We've played as Tanasi throughout the whole tournament. So it would feel wrong for me if I went and played the final as another player. But we're going to go simulate this, have a look at the match report and see how it goes. I'm kind of hoping that Gofan can win or at least get a set off Nadal because Nadal has just been almost untouchable in this tournament. And it would be... It'd be nice if we lost to the eventual winner uh, rather than the guy who got knocked out in the final. It just means, you know, possibly we could have won if we played Nadal. But without any further ado, let's go and hit that triangle button, see what the score is. And, oh, Goffin has done it. He has beaten Nadal in a five-set, looked like a five-set thriller. Took the first set 6-4, to four, then Nadal with the second set 6-4. to four. Goffin winning 7-6, to six, I'm guessing at a tie break. You'd think after that Nadal coming back 6 games to 1 had all the momentum and he would sweep through that final set, but that was not the case. Goffin winning 6 games to 3. So he is your Australian Open champion for the men's singles of 2018. So well done to him. I feel quite nice that we have gone and lost to the eventual winner um, rather than losing to Nadal. And I think that is possibly the first sets that have been taken off Nadal in the entire tournament. Um, and obviously it is the first loss as well because there's a knockout. But I do hope you guys have enjoyed this tournament style. I really enjoy doing these on Big Ant Games. You know, obviously... Um, Don Bradman Cricket and Ashes is another one. If you guys do want to see another uh, Australian Open, possibly as a female this time, or now that there's a few more ma uh, males in the game, a few more players in the game, uh, we could possibly look at doing it with another male player of your guys' choosing. Let me know down below in the comments, uh, and then we can go from there. But anyway, guys, do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, remember to give it a like, smash that thumbs up button. If you are new, please do subscribe. Thanks for watching, and until next time, ka kite anoa. See you soon.